Hello, this is Chris, and uh, this is my office. This is where I work with the bees. And I'm going to talk today about getting stung by bees and some presumably counterintuitive things about that. It's be in my ear right now. Um, first of all, I want to talk about the smoker because it's how you prevent yourself from getting stung by bees. Everyone knows that smokers are somehow involved in beekeeping, but like when we're on bee control calls to get bees out of people's walls, people always ask if we, if we try to smoke them out to somehow kill them or get them out with smoke. But the thing is, beekeepers use smoke precisely because they don't want to kill or drive away their bees. Uh, the, the popular belief about why smoke works is they say that the bees think there's a fire, so they load up on all the honey that they can save so they can take with them, and then they're too heavy to fly so they can't leave, so they sit put and presumably burn up. And now, I think that's a bit counterintuitive, kind of kind of daft sounding. Uh, the more scientific argument that sounds better to me is a lot of bee communication is by pheromones and smells. And when there's a lot of hot smoke blowing around their beehive, they can't smell the alarm pheromone, so they can't set the alarm. And so they don't get all alarmed and don't sting you up. And smoke is very effective. For example, this beehive right here, I'm going to smoke it up and open it. And the bees are presumably not going to sting me in the face. The bees get all freaked out. And you can see it kind of drives them in, but they don't all freak out and run away. And they're not all trying to sting me. Some of them are making weak attempts. But, uh, I'm gonna do pretty good that way. Now I'm gonna close it. I don't actually have anything to do with that hive. I really hate it when they try to go in my ear. It's pretty much my least favorite thing. You're gonna be in your ear trying to sting you. It's in your ear and it's buzzing around. And it's not very fun. But uh, some other tricks I have to not getting stung too much is if bees try to sting you and you don't want to get stung, your best bet really is just run in a straight line as far away as you can and hope to get away from them. But if you're gonna work with bees and you are crazy like me and don't wanna get suited up, and it's really hot here right now, so I'm glad I'm not having to wear a suit. Wearing less actually works a little bit better because getting stung in the face really sucks. But um, as long as they're stinging me in the arms or getting tangled in my hair, they're not stinging me in the face. And so I prefer that to stings in the face. Um, do I have anything else to say about bees? Am I running out of time? Okay, I think this is the end. <laughs>